Good evening. I know it's Shabbat, but I wanted to get this out anyway. I, um, by the way, I did change the wallpaper on the computer. I'm sure that a lot of people <laughs> noticed it's way different than it used to be. And although it's an SU-57 shooting down an F-16, well, you know, uh, <laughs> I thought it was a really cool picture, so it got put as my wallpaper. So anyway, um, one of the types of videos that I typically try to ignore to the best of my ability is prediction videos. Why? Because most of the time, first off, you know, the idea is just copied from one creator to another creator to another creator. Uh, and most of those times, they pretty much copy what the others have to say. Uh, it's just, you know, it's the same. It's, it's, it's the prepping channels. What, what can I tell you? They like copy paste, copy paste, almost, except they paste with like their own, their own video, right? But. Uh, there was one in particular that I saw uh, in uh, on YouTube today, and I thought, you know, this guy, this guy thinks, this guy thinks for himself, and typically, uh, he typically hits the nail on the head. I uh, I vehemently disagree with his thoughts on on you know spirituality, but that's neither here nor there. So. I saw that he had came out today with a prediction video, and I couldn't help but click on it. And there were some things that he had said in his video that really, really stood out to me. And I am talking about Bo Hansen. He did an incredible prediction video, in my opinion. And uh, I'll put the link to it in the description of this video as well as the first comment. Tomorrow, by the way, uh, is when I'll start. Tomorrow morning, I'll start putting out the links on Twitter and stuff like that, like I had been doing all along. Uh, except I haven't been doing it since I've taken my hiatus. Uh, because when I took a hiatus, I really took a hiatus. I wasn't kind of halfway doing it. So, tomorrow morning is when those, uh, you know, when the news articles will go back out on Twitter. Uh, I also have uh, a pretty cool little app now that uh, it monitors websites for changes. And so, I use that app because many of you know that I use, uh, I use a lot of RT links. And I've got an RT uh, app or extension, if you will, on my Google Chrome browser that... Uh, Pretty much, it's, it's banned right now. I had I had to actually make my own copy of the extension, and uh, you know, from time to time, I have to reinstall it because Google would take it off, um, and I just reinstall it. So, uh, but when there's new articles on RT, it notifies me on the little badge up in my browser. However, War News 24/7 has no such kind of thing. I don't believe they have any kind of an app or anything like that. So uh, Web Alert is the name of a uh, free Android app that will allow you to monitor websites for changes. And so that is, uh, I've been using app for I guess maybe about a week or so. And it's a very, very handy little app. Uh, War News 24 7 is not the only website that I monitor like that. So anyway, uh, you'll be seeing probably a lot more links uh, from War News 24-7 as well. And the reason being is because now I'll know when the headlines come out. Because uh, there's sometimes there'll be days and you won't see anything posted by them. So let's, uh, let's talk about this. What, what in particular am I referring to? He made a prediction about the whole woke thing and that he thinks that the tables are going to turn on that in the coming year, in 2024. And you know, it was really something that I didn't think about either way. To be honest, just the way that the past, oh, I don't know, four years have gone, uh, I really don't hold out much hope for better. 
And uh, and I got to thinking about it after he said that. And I think he's right. I think he's right. And I said, you know, I sat here as he was saying it, acknowledging that, yeah, I, I, I think he's right. Because of how many people are really starting to speak up and in the ways that they're starting to speak up. And there are many individuals that are going around uh, any, you know, typical mainstream means um, just to be able to share their their thoughts. Uh, obviously, Twitter, and I'm going to refuse to call it X, obviously, Twitter um, is one of those places to where, for the most part, you can share your thoughts now. Well, anyway, uh, he had put out this video, mentioned that he thought that the whole woke thing was going to do, you know, somewhat of a 180 in 2024. And it wasn't really long after his article, or after his vid- me watching his video, that I noticed an article on RT. I'll put a link, of course, to the article in the description in the first comment as well. And that's this. African leader calls for public execution of gays. Now, I am not for extremism. No, I really don't think that, uh, you know, I, I don't think it needs to go there. I, I don't want it to go there because then who's the next group that they cry for public execution? You know what I mean? When you allow for it for one reason, you damn well better bet there's going to be a whole hell of a lot of other reasons added. So I can't, you know, I can't stand behind anything like this. And, and then over overarching all of that, I do firmly believe that people have the right to associate with whoever they want uh, in whichever they way that they want, as long as it's not directly negatively impacting others. If two males want to get together and, well, I won't, I won't try to crack any jokes, but if, if two males want to get together and do their thing, that's on them. As long as I don't have to see it, as long as I don't have to hear it, and as long as I don't have to have it pushed in my face. That is where I draw the line. And I think if we could just take a step back from this, oh, it's okay to be as screwed up in the head as you want uh you're gonna have mainstream media promote you you're gonna have you know this platform that platform promote you you're even gonna have the governments many governments around the world promote you that ain't good and i would say that everybody and i mean everybody should be questioning the motives of all of the leaders of these different nations as to why why they would promote it. Because you see, things like this, at least here in the United States, things like this usually aren't a matter of government. Normally, they would leave social stuff like that out of political policy. But they have embraced it. And it started largely with Obama. And it's never stopped since. So while I can't stand behind this African leader and his wishes, I can absolutely stand behind the notion that we stop getting it shoved in our faces. Can't even turn a TV on anymore. You can't any any movie within the last few years, it's shoved in your face. It's absolutely ridiculous. I, uh, I do think that Bo Hansen is correct here. I do think that in 2024, one thing that we're going to see change and get better, and I guess that's all a matter of perspective, is the situation of having all this immorality just shoved in our face nonstop. But I don't think it's going to come without the bumps and the bruises. Like anything else, I think it's going to take a considerable effort 
and probably, and when I say martyrs, I don't mean necessarily martyrs by their lives. I'm saying martyrs, whether it's people losing their their platforms, whatever the case may be. I, I think there's going to be some bumps and bruises along the way. But I think that there are enough people that are fed up enough that they're not going to shut up. I think 2024, there's a highly good chance that we're going to see people stand up and we're going to see people stand strong. Now, does that mean that I'm, I'm talking about a civil war, that I myself am predicting a civil war? No. You know why I don't predict a civil war? You know why I don't think there will be a civil war? Because how screwed up have things been for how long and you can't even get red team off their ass. Not even yet. You can't get red team off their ass. And and if they're not going to get off their ass, if all they're going to do is set on social media and bitch, there will be no change come from that. But I think it's going to go further. And I don't think it's necessarily going to be a, necessarily a political thing. I think it's going to be a social thing. I honestly think that once we see big enough figures stand up and enough people stand behind them, I think you're going to see people politically from all sides of the aisle. I think you're going to be seeing people from all walks of life because they're there now and they have been there now. But the government commands the media, whether it be social media or news media or entertainment media, they're doing everything they can to minimize anything that goes against what they want. And then they, they take even the smallest little bit that they have in their favor and they make sure it's blasted far and wide and often. I think we're going to see a change with this. I don't know what the landscape looks, uh, looks like ahead. And when I say that, you know, I see a whole lot of things going on, especially involving big business and and, uh, wealthy people. You know, we could discuss the, the, and I'm not going to, but we could discuss the whole uh, Mark Zuckerberg bunker in in Hawaii. Um, Any number of things like that. I don't think that 2024 is going to be the year of the apocalypse. I, I do think that wars are going to escalate. Uh, I do think that there's a good chance that we might actually get boots on the ground in one or more conflicts. But I don't think the proverbial apocalypse or any way, shape, or form of it is uh, is that close to our doorstep. I think we got a little bit. Don't know how long, but I do think we got a little bit. Um... And that's good, because every single day we have extra that we can prepare for whatever it is that we do have coming in a real way. That's a good thing. So I do still see the same old nonsense on the prepper channels. And I don't think that's ever going to end, because they they can't get outside of the boxes that they put themselves in. A lot of them, like, same with the prediction stuff. They, they just copy, copy, copy. You're never, never going to get good information by people that just parrot other people. I, um, I think there's going to be some interesting times in 2024. I think in some aspects, and I'm not making a prediction video, but I think in some aspects, um, things are going to get worse. And in other aspects, things are going to get better. I do think that as far as the economy is concerned, I think it's as, um, you know, international relations are concerned. I think those things are going to continue to get worse. But I have a feeling that in, in some cases at least, the social climate is going to be a little bit more palatable. And I think the reason why, and, and Bull Hansen, he, he hit the nail on the head when he said that uh, they, they took it too far. And, and that's just it. They, they took it too far. 
You know, the whole give them an inch, they take a mile. Well, we gave them an inch, and, and they took, like, I don't know, a, a light year. And I think they pushed too far too fast. And I think with the, especially with the inclusion of, uh, what is it that they call it, um, minor attracted individuals or what have you, I think that put one hell of a huge nail in their coffin. And, you know, those in control that are pulling the puppet strings, if you will, they've got their agenda, and that's what they want to see. I've got my own ideas about why they want to see that, aside from the obvious. I think uh, one of the reasons why they, they want to see it is because I think that people are getting closer and closer to revealing at least many of the individuals that were involved with, say, Epstein and any of the other groups. And I think that, um, I think what they're trying to do is make it acceptable and legal before their hands get caught in the cookie jar. I think that's pretty much where that lies. So anyway... I'll leave the link to this article. I'll leave the link to Bull Henson's video in the description and first comment. Aside from that, I will see you tomorrow night. I hope you have a blessed day. Shalom.